This ain't no place for no hero to call home. time. It sucks. Yeah, we didn't get there. I think I think if we had a little more time, we would have got there. Oh, you conceded. Okay. Borderlands 2 gotta be one of the most memorable games ever, Cisco. We did it! A good guy opponent gave us the match because he's aware that I'm tired, and I think if we had a little bit more time, we would have gotten there in time. Oof, Nick, you didn't need to do that, man. Being good guy opponent. Now you're making me look bad. <laughs> good games, friend. Um, I, I, it was funny, Kof. I was sitting here thinking, man, if I just had a little more time and I wasn't tired, um, I, I think I could have made enough zombies to get there. But um, did you want to see the list, Kof, Nick? That's, I think that's only fair. Um, and, and I think the stream might want to see it too. And I'm gonna go to bed. I'm very tired. Normally I wouldn't take so long, man. I think the deck still needs some some changes, but overall it's 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 kind of neat what it does. Um. Slash thingy thumbs up opponent there. Yeah, you get brownie points, I guess, Kofnik. You saw the list earlier when I was reviewing. Ah, useful. I'm sure that helped. That was really cool when you transitioned into Tanker. You just wrecked me. I wasn't ready for it. Uh, Kofnik, I wasn't ready for it at all. Um, I had brought in the Sulfur, and I brought in the extra Abrupt Decay, thinking, Ha! We'll, we'll kill his mentors. We'll kill him good. And then you're just like, Tinker Blightsteel. And I was like, No! We're dead! I was like, No, we're dead! Rufio! Rufio? Rufio, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the Abram Special. Um... Yeah. Hey, if you guys thought that was sweet, uh, this is, I, I didn't bring too much attention to it, but this is a charity stream, um, as you can see, playing in support of the Children's Hospital Network. Um, if you'd like to give, I can give you a URL. Uh, this is how much we've raised. We've raised 118 already of the 200, of the $200 goal. Uh, so if you'd like to be part of it, you get that warm, fuzzy feeling you get from giving to charities. If you want to learn more about the charity, I can give you a website for that as well. Um, it's all right here. Be a hero. If you want to be a hero, this is one way to do it. Um, so please, you know, you know, if, if you want to donate to something and you don't like me, and you don't want to donate to me for me to have more, like, tickets and cards, that's fine. Don't donate to me. Donate to that. Donate to the Extra Life uh, thing. Do it. And if you want to learn more about uh, the Children's Miracle Hospital Network, here's more on them, what they do with the money, and how many children that they do various surgeries, etc., on each year. It is a great cause. You see miracles all the time at our children's See, J-Lo will let you know how it is. This is new. Hang on. They didn't have this last time I looked at the website. We're going to watch this. That's why as great as children's hospitals are... So what does the Spawn of Virtue Planeswalker do, I've always happen. wondered? You want to see the full card? money, where the miracles are. Support your children's miracle network hospital. She's right. Um, you want to know what the full card does? Uh, have it saved somewhere. I will show you what the rest of the card says. JLo has a nice booty, says Taters. Think of the children, Taters. Think of the children. Think of the children. You're not thinking of the children, you're thinking of JLo's booty. All of the pictures. Not that one, not that one. Where's the full one? Ah, uh, here it is. Oops. Nope, nope, don't, nope, nope, nope. Uh, let's do it this way. Ooh, let's get the music right. 
Let's open in paint, I suppose. Let's open it with paint. Yeah, if you don't hear, if you don't want to hear it from me, hear it from J Lo. I open with paint. All right, mutant carrot. So, uh, the spawn of virtue planeswalker does this. It's a combination of cabal therapy. So my plus one was name a card, they reveal, discard a card with that name. So my plus one is Cabal Therapy. I think Cabal Therapy is a really interesting card. It takes a lot of skill to do it properly, and you know you don't necessarily need Gitaxium Pro. Uh, we had many, many a stream where I was just like mind reading my opponent, so I kind of thought that that made sense with the stream, that my plus one would be Cabal Therapy. Uh, the minus one is name a card, reveal the top card in my library, I'm going to cast it. So. The minus one was, if I know the top card of my deck, and obviously it combos well with stuff that lets you see, your, lets you see the top of your deck. Sensei's top, etc. Uh, and then my minus seven was totally broken. Uh, name two cards, exile copies of those cards, you may cast any uh, number of these cards until the end of... Uh, oh, you know what? I, I worded that wrong. Oh well. Well, that was the basic idea. There you go. If you want to save that. Here you go. I, I need, it needs some work, though. The ultimate's too powerful. Way too powerful. But I do like two-card combos, so there you go. That's what I was thinking. And somebody else has made, uh, of course, Happy made a Spawn of Virtue Planeswalker for the stream. So this is another one we could look at. Was it inspired by Predict? This is with Phyrexian Mana. So somebody made this one. Spawn, Master of Tinfin. Apparently I'm from some sort of anime. I'm very religious and wear cool coats. I don't know. So this one was put bottom two card of my library into the graveyard, then draw a card. Okay. So plus one is basically draw a card. Interesting. Minus four is reanimate, and then the minus nine was put 20 cards from my library into my graveyard, then put all creatures from my graveyard into play. That's fun. I should make one spot. Two mana infinite therapy. Right, you could you could spend six life to cast me, I suppose. But enough of that, that's just... So, um, real quick, I wanted to brew a deck for someone in the stream. Oh, J-Lo. Oh, J-Lo. So, yeah, if you like Vintage, you want to see what else I play in Vintage, here's some other decks we built. We built... We were starting to build Bomberman. We didn't finish it, apparently. Apparently, I didn't finish this. But, um... We started Bomberman. Uh, let's talk Lumberjack. I can't play Lumberjack like I used to. We gave back the Magus of the Moon, but I'd love to post this list. A new card we were testing was a Baleful Strix. I don't know if that's right. I think Baleful Strix is much better in Legacy than it might be in Vintage. Call me crazy. That is actual Gorilla Shaman. Somebody donated a Gorilla Shaman. I don't know if this is right. I don't know if I like the main deck. Is it Staticaster either? Um... So this is Lumberjack. started. Yeah, I didn't finish that one, Jim. It's okay. I'm gonna say it that way. Giant Arbor's a tap land, so I'm gonna put it here. Um, one of Bird of Paradise, because sometimes they're gonna turn off your death or your death rights with Leyline. Sorrow's Path for the win. Alright, so this is Lumberjack. This is a sweet deck. This is uh, Survival of the Fittest. A lot of games in Vintage really just come down to you beating them down with your little dudes. But the way you close out games is with a hate card. You close out games with Trigon, drawing a fortuitous amount of cards. Fortuitous amount of cards with Edric. Or you is it Staticaster, their dudes. Like, Young Pyromancer was really popular at the time. So this, the main deck, Staticaster, was so spice. Uh, and then Magus, but I, Magus of the Moon, I had to get it back. I was borrowing it. We don't have it anymore. Um, so that's why I can't play it right now. The Magus is so important for a lot of different matches in Vintage. Few people run Basics. Only, like, basically like a couple decks that I can think of off the top of my head. Like you've got your um, like your mana drain control will run it. 
And then a Glenelon. Uh, Glenelon to Archmage is just so flexible, and she can win a lot of different games. Um, he uses Anger and Squeeze. Squeeze to break parity on survival. You have to discard creatures to use survival of the fittest. Uh, anger is so that everything works just faster. Ice Cauldron? I don't know about Ice Cauldron. Place magis with price of progress as full metal. It needs to be a creature full metal. It needs to be a creature. Um, and they're pretty expensive right now. There's a lot of hype around the card. If you look at... Um... Seriously though, if, if you don't want to give to, to me, to the stream, please, please give to the Children's Miracle Hospital Network. I'm not kidding. I think it's a really great charity. I think you won't be disappointed. You can learn more about what they do, the websites I've given you. Um, enough about that. Uh, Magus, Magus of the Moon, uh, it's, it's only had one printing, Trigon and Idric, just gross, it is pretty sweet, okay, it come, it's come down a little, it's like, it's like 13 tickets, I mean, we could get our own, I'd love to maybe borrow it from that guy again, he was also letting me borrow a second Toxic Village, but let's talk modern, is that gentleman here, the one that was thinking about building elves, still hear his name start with a K, Is he not here anymore, guys? I don't see him in here. I think he went to bed. There was a guy who was thinking about building a creature deck for Modern, and what I wanted to show him was, I think instead of building Elves, a cool deck he could have built. So I'm not really a Soul Sisters guy, right? But there is one variant of Soul Sisters I thought was really cool. Um, and that was... Yeah, he's gone. But this is the deck I was going to suggest to him because he said he had an interest in creatures. It was the Norin uh, Soul Sisters. I think it's a cool deck. Norin the Wary Soul Sisters. I'm trying to put together Protean Hulk. Oh, Full Metal, I got you, man. Maybe you can take some ideas from one that I built. Old Norn the Wary. Here you go, man. Here's a Protean Hulk deck I brewed, and I, I, I didn't. I brewed it, but I can't say I built it because I'm still missing about six pieces or seven pieces. Seven pieces. We're missing seven pieces, but uh, certainly this is something maybe after some donations we could get into sometime if you guys really want to see it. Um, this might even be competitive enough to play in an actual event, I'm not sure. After some extensive uh, testing, of course. Uh, so Dark Deal Footsteps and Burial Rites is usually going to be cast uh, for the flashback due to the Dark Deal Ormancer and Hex Mage or what you get with the Protean in my particular build. Two Grizzlebrands, one Iona, one Elish, a Blood Baron. Just in case, some games, uh, the Protean, I, I, I anticipate some games I'm going to have already drawn the Ormancer or already drawn the Hex Mage. So I wanted another really awesome permanent I could or another really awesome creature I could get with the Protean. I think Blood Baron's really good in the current metagame. Um, doesn't die to Path, doesn't die to Terminate. It does die to multiple burn spells, I'll admit. Uh, but other than that, it's pretty solid. That's what you're reanimating. That's the Protean Hulk package, and then you got that package. So this is a different package. You got the typical reanimator package. It's somewhat typical. I mean, the Grizzle Daddies and the Ionas and the Elishes. Can I get a screenshot? I'll screenshot for you, Full Metal, actually. I was gonna, I was gonna screenshot it for you. There's a lot of different uh, piles. Hold up, let me, let me. Since it's a combo deck, let's pile things differently. So here's the draw cards. You've got your dark deal. Your idea is unbound. Um, you could thought seize yourself. Let's put all the reanimate spells in one pile. Let's put these guys in one pile. Protein gets its own pile. And these get getting it. Through. So as you can see, obviously the biggest pile is the the interaction and filtering, the draw spells, and then of course the reanimate spells, quickly followed by things to reanimate, and then of course you got the Debtor's Nail Hex Mage package. I just want an alternative because sometimes you're going to draw the Debtor's Nail, or the Lost, or the Hex Mage, so then the Protean Hulk can at least get something else. Um, but yeah, let me give you a screenshot. I think this is really cool. If you already own all the pieces, man, by all means, build it. T tweak it and twist it to your liking. 
Um, you could run path in this. I don't know why I'm not. I, 